Animal Crossing Pocket Camp's rustic setting is the perfect metaphor for what it's like to play Nintendo's latest mobile game. It's a relaxing getaway with plenty of activities to keep you entertained, even when the trip isn't the smoothest. Pocket Camp delivers a smart distillation of the traditional Animal Crossing gameplay in a format that's ideal for the franchise. You're still befriending neighborly animals, collecting fruit, and customizing your living space. But its daily diversions are made much more manageable by the world's clever, compartmentalized design. Setting goals for yourself is tremendously easy because the world is segmented into activity-oriented locations. One is focused on fishing, another on catching bugs, and so on. True, this setup removes some of the freedom you have to hunt and gather anywhere you want in the 3DS Animal Crossing, but having each activity tied to a location makes it a breeze tracking down bugs or fruit while on the go. The downside is that swapping between areas comes with a slight load time, which can be frustrating when I'm only playing for a few minutes on the train or while waiting in line at a movie. I've definitely postponed a task or two because I've had to move three or four locations just to reach them. And annoyingly, you need an online connection the entire time, so playing on the subway or a plane is unreliable at best. To keep up the pace, Pocket Camp offers both daily timed goals and long-term objectives, all of which offer a nice balance of work and reward. I can catch three fish, raise my friendship level with one animal, and visit another player's town and be rewarded that very day. Meanwhile, I'll be working toward dozens of bigger things like populating my campsite. You can still play Pocket Camp as an open-ended sim, but as a player who's paralyzed by too much freedom, I love having this structure. Some freedom I can appreciate, though, is in the customization of my living space, which is made up of both a campground and an RV. Instead of hunting down items or clothing at stores in town, though, I've primarily become a hoarder thanks to a new crafting system. It's all pretty simple. I collect items in the environment or by completing tasks to then build the exact couch, lamp, tent, or whatever other item I wanted. This both simplifies the randomized nature of item hunting and makes that hunt way more engaging. Crafting does take real-world time to complete, though. A tent upgrade process can last 12 actual hours. This is where Pocket Camp's paid-for new currency, Leaf Tickets, comes into play, letting you skip over these inconvenient stretches. It sounds scary, but after spending two weeks with Pocket Camp, I haven't felt the urge to buy a single ticket. Yet. Yes, I could use more of them to more frequently enter the quarry, a gem-collecting farm where you can earn more bells, the other in-game currency. But that aspect of the game feels superfluous at best right now, because I earn plenty of bells for my other daily tasks. But with some smart time management, like setting those larger projects to craft overnight, I've never found a need for tickets outside of the ones I've earned for free by leveling up and helping animals. Plus, I really like helping Pocket Camp's needy critters whenever I can, especially because the new friendship levels make it clear what effect my neighborly actions actually have. Every item you gather or chat you have increases your level with them, which adds to an overall rank and offers more bonus items and bells. Eventually, you'll earn the ability to invite them to your campsite. They're not just there as decoration, though. Your animal friends react to the changes you make to your camp, so choosing your style wisely can boost your friendship levels even further. It's not all that deep, but having this and crafting adds a combined layer of RPG mechanics that really enhance the series' more familiar systems. What could have easily come across as a money-making scheme worthy of Tom Nook is actually a surprisingly robust yet streamlined version of a standard Animal Crossing adventure. Pocket Camp is a smart take on core Animal Crossing gameplay with unexpected additions that I hope become series mainstays. Despite frequent loads and an always online requirement, its light but fun crafting and leveling additions deliver plenty of reasons to extend this camping trip for weeks to come. And for more on Animal Crossing, check out the first 13 minutes of Pocket Camp.